time no see. We've not done one of these videos for quite a bit, so here's a new one for you. And today's video is going to be on how to diagnose body repairs remotely. So that means before you get to the job, you're going to diagnose what the problem is and have a good idea of what it is so you can help you bring the right part and fix that boiler in one visit. Now to do this, it's obviously it's a great skill, it's a big skill to actually do. And what I've seen is broken down into about three parts. So the first thing, you've got to be able to motivate the customer to do what you want. You've got to get them to do things what they may be uncomfortable in doing. So you've got to find the the key to get them to do that. The next thing, you've got to have the skills yourself to tell people what to do, where to go, all these things. So you've got to have these skills yourself. And the third thing is you've then got to then interpretate the information given to you from the customer. So they're the three areas what you've got to look at. And that's what we're going to talk about now. So going back to the first one, how do you inspire people to do things? Now, what I've developed over a number of years is I've built up skills in myself, people skills. I've had to work on myself. So I've got the um, charisma, I've got the charm, the flair, to pass through to the customer so they feel happy and feel connected and they're going to want to do it without no problems. So you've got to work on yourself and you do that via the Master Engineer website, the Mindset Business Training. And you can do that, it'll build yourself and you'll be able to have the confidence to ask these questions because to ask the customer can you do this? Can you do that? You might find, find it uncomfortable. You might feel embarrassed to do that. But this is why you work on yourself first. You get the confidence to be able to ask that question. As I said, you do that via the mindset business training. And then the skills, what you've got to acquire. The skills, again, you can acquire by a number of ways. You can do it through the website, through the mentorship website, through the videos what I've got, or you can do what Adam's doing, you can do the mentorship program, which that's the best way to do these things, to learn, see it for yourself, practice in the training room with yourself, and build your technical skills that way. Then, once you've got these skills, you can then ask the customer to do these things with your confidence. So, example, I'll ask a customer to turn the power off, turn the power back on. I'll tell them to go up to the airing cupboard. I'll tell them to take a picture or video certain parts of the airing cupboard so I can see what's going on. This might take five, it could take 10 minutes. It could take a series of videos and pictures back and forward with communication with you and the customer. But it's all done in a professional, light-hearted manner. And then once you've got all this information, then you can diagnose a problem, see what you need, and then bring the part with you and repair it in one visit. I do this, I'd say, 60%, even 70% of the time. I pre-diagnose on the phone via the method what I've just taught you, or just spoke to you about. Now, Adam's with me at the moment, and he's probably got some questions what he'd like to ask what I do and how I do what I do. Adam, if you can... Yeah, I just was wondering how do you do it? How do you diagnose over the phone the fault? Well, we're going to 
for a job right now. And this customer rang in yesterday. Yeah. And they said that basically they got no heat in the hot water. Right. So the first thing I asked him what to make a model of the boiler. I identified that. Then what I'd said asked him a series of questions, I asked him to send me a picture of the boiler as well. Just right. confirm that. So I've seen the boiler. And I could tell that there's no lights on the front of the boiler. It was a Worcester 28 CDI. And there's no lights on it, no power button, no power light. Now the customer said to me that they've got a remote thermostat, um, a hive one, and that's got power to it. So we know that power's going to back, but there's no LED display on the boiler. So that means a fuse is blown. From there, in my skills said, well, if the fuse is blown, it's on the 240 volts, and the air is what that's going to be, is the pump and fan. They're the 240 volt areas, which could take out the fuse and take out that light green LED on the front of the boiler. All right. So from there, I could advise the customer what the possibilities were, and it was happy with what was said and done, and they was happy then for me to come the next day with the parts, and then we're gonna diagnose and repair this boiler, after what I said. So you use that methodology, I said it takes skill, it takes practice, you have to work on yourself and the air is what I said for you to build a confidence, for you to engage with a customer, for them to be happy to engage with you. Right. Anything else? Uh, uh, not for now really, no. Okay, that's great. So anyway, that's going to be the end of this short video on this subject. If you've got any questions, or comments you want to say, just drop us a post and we'll back to them for you.